My name is David Fisher. Uh, I'm from Oshawa, Ontario, Canada. And uh, being here is uh, one of the greatest experiences I've had in my baseball life. The competition down here was extraordinary. And uh, the coaching that I got down here and the instruction was amazing. It was just, it, it, it was an eye opener. Um, the stuff that you think you know, they go in depth and they make sure that you actually know what you're talking about. The skill level down here, it's like the next level. And to get to that next level, you've got to want it. And the coaches here, they help you get the skills to want it. So it's great being down here. And the, the kids down here that I played with, great ball players, extraordinary ball players. And I had a time of my life down here with these guys and these coaches. It was a great experience. Coach Maiden is an amazing coach. Taught me so much over the past couple of days. And that was just through instructional videos and one-on-one -on -one talks. And I can't wait to come back, see if I can play for a summer team, and actually have him as my coach. It'd be an amazing, an amazing experience. All my fans, peace. And no, I'm, I'm, I'm Canadian. A. And that's how that's how we rock up in the north how we rock up in the north in the snow. So I'm out and see y'all later. Peace. Okay, let me reflect back over the game, guys, because uh, first of all, let me start with pitching and catching as far as the game was concerned. <clears throat> Did y'all watch the other pitcher any? You notice he my fact who? Uh, I think it was Sean. He called you out on strike three. That was a beautiful change up on the outside corner that he threw. The next level, I, I told y'all, it's not fastballs. And one thing I, fi I found out when we come to these tournaments, most of the guys complain about the pitchers being outside, saying, telling the blue that they're outside, so on and so forth. The next level, they pitch on the outside corner. You don't come in to hit us unless you have to or you go get punished. So you will understand the concept of taking that pitch, outside pitch, opposite field. When you get it, when the pitch you get ahead of the count, you can almost look for something on the outside corner. And it's usually not something hard. Change ups and sliders are your out pitches on the next level. And as a pitcher, if you play a seven in a game, the minimum you can face is 21 batters. Out of those 21 batters, how many strikeouts should you have at the end of the game? On a, a pitcher job is not to strike anyone out in the course of a game. Pitcher has one job, to have him to hit weak ground balls to his infield and pop-ups to his outfield. You're never out there to strike anyone out. And you'll find power pitchers in the big leagues, when they get older, like Greg Maddox, they learn how to become finesse pitchers. You, 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 you hit spots where they hit weak ground balls where they can't get around on the pitch to drive it hard. If you get strikeouts, that's fine. But sliders, change-ups, you get ahead, you work them out of the strike zone. Away, away, boom. And you realize your hitters, we'll get into hitters, but as pitchers, we were throwing a lot of fastballs today. Good hitters, I don't care how good they are or how weak hitters, when they see a fastball enough, they go time it. And believe me, the faster it comes, actually easier it is to hit it for good hitters. Good hitters don't like slow stuff because it throws their bet off. So they like on the line, and they'll connect with it sooner or later. But what happens is when you mixing them up, hitting your spots, one pitch complements another pitch. Let's say hypothetically you got an 84 mile an hour fast, 84 mile an hour fastball. Uh, 76 mile hour changeup and a 72 mile hour curveball. After you show him that changeup and that curveball and you come back with the fastball, it makes it look just that much more faster when you're mixing your pitches up. When you show him a fastball and you change up and give him an off speed pitch, you get him out in front of the pitches. So wh what you do is pitches, you spot your pitches, you mix it up to keep hitters off balance. Nick Gillette from Minnesota. Had a pretty good experience down here in Florida with Coach Maiden. A lot of good baseball played. 
great experience, learned how to get from this level up to the top level of competition. Had lots of fun doing it. The team was good, good bunch of guys, a lot of good talent on this. Like to joke around a lot too. Had lots of fun. Playing in a major league stadium, all that stuff. It's a good experience. Coach Coach Maiden sent me an email about joining the team. I figured I love baseball. There ain't nothing to do up in Minnesota in the winter to play hockey. So why not? Took a chance and I loved it. I figured this is one of these other clinics that I get emails and letters for. Just you pay to get in, just do some little stuff with a whole bunch of people. You don't want really learn all that much. But I contacted them. I believed them, came down here, and it was a whole different experience. Great baseball. One on one with coach. It's great. It ain't no scam. You're gonna get great experience towards baseball on the top level. Great competition. Play with a great bunch of guys. It's great.